Hey everyone, Rogue Gold here, and today we have the two 20.3 patch notes to go over for The Division 2. This brand new patch is going to be going live in the game tomorrow, so in this video we're going to quickly go over the patch notes and everything you need to know. I'll say this right off the top, if you couldn't tell already, I am not at my usual setup right now. I don't have my normal audio equipment, you might hear some stuff in the background. I apologize, we'll be back to normal soon, but thanks for sticking with me, and without further ado, let's get to it. So, as you can see right here, the game tweeted out just a short while ago, The Division 2 maintenance alert This is going to be happening on Tuesday, April 9th, that is tomorrow from when I'm posting this video. Uh, the downtime will begin at those following times, so convert it to your own time zone, and the estimated downtime is three hours. But let's jump on over to the patch notes themselves. I wouldn't say this patch looks to be as major as 220.2 was, but there's definitely a few things in here that I think people will be happy to see. So again, 220.3, here we go. Starting with the manhunt, they fixed an issue with the lost LS memos collectibles not dropping from named NPCs during the Fate Lab Climax mission. I know some people will, ha will probably be happy about this. This was part of it. Um, you know, the Legacy Manhunt comms that people were able to collect, these were not included in there, but now they are, so that should be nice. They also fixed an issue where progress would remain stuck at the friendly takeover in progress at any control point, uh, dependent on nearby side missions. In Descent, they fixed an issue with the Nemesis arm patch not being rewarded if you were to defeat the Nemesis on Loop 8. Also an issue where an Asian was able to enter the Descent game mode by interacting with a loot crate positioned in front of the door. As far as global events, they fixed the issue where the Black Tusk challenges were not including legendary elite forces of the Black Tusk faction in every global global event. Here's one that I know a good amount of people were talking about. Under gear, weapons, and talents, they fixed an issue with the Mantis exotic rifle not displaying additional information when using the scope to view. I think it was having some weird crossover with like the Vindicator site, so that should be nice to be have fixed up. Uh, then under UI, they fixed an issue with the Aegis Wire's material amounts not being consistent across all characters on the same account. Also the exact same issue with the Palisade Steelworks materials as well as not being able to scroll down to purchase the Vindicator in the NSA store for Descent. Then under Vanity, we got a good amount here. Uh, fix the issue with the players were unable to modify any mask while using the Aegis backpack as a cosmetic for any backpack. And then they fixed multiple clipping issues for all of the following items. Here we go. Theo Prenel mask, the Scully shirt, the Scully boots, the Scrim Master backpack, the Scrim Master gloves, the handle pants, the Crescent gloves, and the rig hoodie. And finally, down under other, they fixed the issue with the normal turrets firing through the walls in Tidal Basin, fixed an issue with the players being able to earn 90k XP per briefing mission reset while all global event directives and target double XP were active, fixed an issue with the tomb mission not being available for completion after encountering rogue agents in the infirmary. They also fixed multiple animation issues. I wonder if this is the one that a lot of people have been running into where the start and stop of your character is like missing frames so it looks very abrupt. Uh, hopefully so because that one is certainly annoying. And finally stability improvements. So there you have it folks. That is everything that we can expect with 220.2 again dropping for the Division 2 tomorrow. Uh, once again not as major as 220.2. Not as much going on overall but good to see these bug fixes going in a few things that i think people will care a lot about and overall hopefully as always it just makes the game better that is going to do it for me on this one everybody again thank you for bearing with me if the audio was less than optimal we'll be back to normal soon but yeah let me know your thoughts about what's coming into you 20.3 what are you most looking forward to and if you want to stay up to date on everything happening with the division 2 in the future then be sure to click that subscribe button and i will keep you in the loop until then thank you all very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one rogue gold out.